like you don't need cable. Hop on YouTube, welcome to the hood table. Where we chop up local and global events vocally. You don't really wanna miss out on these conversations. Just joke a little, huh? Laugh a little, get that wine in your system for your glass a little. Expose current events, talk trash a little. You never know these opinions might clash a little. Be addicted to the content, got them binge watching. You don't like it, think you want invited. Bet your friends watching in the house and your job parking lot before you clock in. They don't wanna miss a second of this HD content. Everybody think they got something to say, so. It's an open invitation, bring it to the table But if you come whack, just know we ain't buying in We gon' probably turn it back until you start it right here uh, Yeah, welcome to the hood table You don't need Netflix, you don't need cable Yeah, welcome to the hood table You don't need Netflix, you don't need cable Hey everyone, come on in, come on in. Welcome to the hood table. How's everybody doing this evening? I hope everybody is doing well. Make sure you guys come into the live the right way by liking the video, giving it a thumbs up right away because it does help with our analytics as far as YouTube goes so that they could recommend our videos to you know the YouTube world. So make sure you are um, liking the video on your way in. Thank you so much. Um, tonight, we're going to have the phone lines open. Um, as you can see, the phone line, um, the call-in number is posted right there, right there, 605-475-4074, access code 753-359, and I do have my app up so I can see when people are waiting on the line, and the phone lines are officially open. Um, it's been trending for a couple of days now so i'm sure most of y'all have already heard and probably already seen the video that went viral from facebook um regarding a lady by the name of jane um she was well if y'all didn't watch the video feel free to watch it you know afterwards i'm not going to play the video right now because it's a 17 minute video and again like i said half the world has probably already seen this video because it's been trending um a lady by the name of jane from indianapolis um she had made a video on live on facebook a few days ago and it was in regards to um her visiting some guy that she used to kick it with um, used to kick it with, but then that turned into, I guess, business associate or whatnot. But anywho, she had met the guy over his uncle's house. And when she went over the uncle's house to handle business with the guy or whatnot, she didn't really say what business that was. But um, she claimed that there was another guy there and the guy she went to see uh he claimed that other guy was his cousin um so then she ended up you know handling business speaking to the guy or whatnot i don't know she didn't go into details about that but she left went on about her business but then she had to turn around and go back because she had forgot her phone so she said she was calling her phone, calling her phone, and uh, the guy wouldn't, I mean, she left, she knew she left her phone at the crib at the dude's uncle's house, but nobody was answering the phone. I guess she was trying to make sure, you know, where her phone was or whatnot. Anyway, she came back uh, to the guy's uncle's house, and she claimed that she knocked. And nobody would answer the door. She was just knocking and nobody was answering the door. So she said she turned the lock. She turned the lock and the door was open. She claimed when she went in there, she got a surprise of a lifetime because she claims that they were allegedly engaged in having sex. 
the guy that she used to kick it with term business associate and the guy who he claimed was his cousin. So she claimed that she walked in on them. They were engaged and she kind of like flipped out and uh, was going off because of the fact that she was like, I don't know, I guess she was shocked as if I, I probably would have been shocked too, especially if it was some, some guy that I had a relationship with, a situationship with or whatnot. Now she claimed on the Facebook Live that he only ate her oral, aka oral, um, and she said it was like some time ago, some years ago. Uh, I don't know, you know, that that's what she's saying. It was just a oral transaction that had occurred, you know, between them two. But when she came back and opened the door and saw them engaged allegedly in um, homosexual activities, um, she flipped out. And I guess she was mad or upset because the guy... She didn't know that he was gay or like men or and they had been in a situationship, you know, a, a while back. And I guess she kind of I don't know. She she was shocked. And then that quickly turned into them, you know, when they saw her bust in on them and she claimed they jumped up. They they ran out the door with their pants barely up on their butts and was uh, screaming at her and yelling at her and all kind of stuff. And um, <clears throat> she said that the way they was looking at her, you know, like they was really busted and like it wasn't cool because I'm thinking to myself like this. And y'all can call in and let me know how y'all feel about the situation. You know, please feel free. The phone lines is open. Um, and the phone number is listed right below me. So I'm thinking if there's two guys engaged in sex, if they don't have a problem with anybody knowing that they are gay, bisexual, whatever, um, they wouldn't have jumped up, chased her out the door because she claims that they chased her out the apartment building and was screaming at her because she was like, you know, flipping out like, oh my God, you're gay. You're having sex, you know, whatever, whatever. And she said by the look of their faces, though, it was like they were angry, like they were pissed off, upset because they were caught have engaged in, you know, sexual activities with each other. So I'm assuming that these are probably down low bros. And that's why they were so angry because I'm like, if you were gay and you didn't have a problem being gay, you wouldn't even be upset if somebody busted you having sex. You know what I mean? Just like two straight people, if they were having sex, they wouldn't be upset if somebody busted them having sex. They'd be like, all right, get out of here, shut the door. You know what you're doing, you know, and go on about their business. But this is just me looking on the outside in. Again, y'all can post y'all comments in the chat or y'all can call in to the call-in line and let me know how y'all feel about that. Uh, Rainy Wombong, you said, oh, no, what? Yeah, you haven't heard about the story? It's been trending for a couple of days now. But so let me try to speed forward or fast forward. Um, she said they chased her out the door and she, she said she think they would have actually came out the door except for the fact that um outside the apartment building she said there was kids kids coming home from school you know parents out there and stuff so they stopped at the door so she made her way to her car and on her way to her car she was i guess she claimed that she told them that she would expose them if they didn't pay her five thousand dollars and she was like he rolling around in fifty thousand dollar trucks like he can afford to give me five stacks that should be no problem so she was kind of like blackmailing them blackmailing them trying to get money you know out of them to keep this hush because it obviously was something that they probably didn't want nobody to know about being the way that she is playing. They jumped up, clothes was halfway on, chased her out the house, screaming and cussing at her, you know, because they don't want her to say anything. So after that, she makes her way to her uh, place of business or whatnot. Um, and she makes this Facebook Live video outing them. She even said the guy's name, allegedly. 
Now, um, y'all can go uh, check it out if y'all want to. Uh, being that it's allegedly, I'm not going to post the person's name, but somebody did ask me earlier. Sorry about that. I clicked the wrong button. Somebody did ask me earlier. Um, uh, where did they ask me? Oh, on the video that I had posted earlier, the whole full video of the rant from the girl on the Facebook live. It has been deleted off of Facebook, but a lot of people downloaded it. And so I managed to get the full video. So anyway, I had uploaded that this morning. So people were commenting on the video and somebody asked me, did I have a picture of the two guys that is accused of um, killing this lady? Because after she left, a couple of hours later, she made a Facebook Live. Then a couple of hours later, she was dead. And what had happened was she was driving around. Hey, Crackhead Willie, a.k.a. cross Eye Joe. How you doing? Make sure you guys like the video on the way in. Share the video if you like. Subscribe to the channel if you like. Um, so she had, um, where, where was I? She made the video. And then a couple of hours later, she was driving around in her car and they, the witnesses claim that somebody came along, they shot her car up. She ended up wrecking and crashing. It was a couple of cars, a couple of injuries, but she ended up dead. Um, the police are still, you know, investigating the crime, but you know, I have read that they're saying that it was an isolated incident. Like it was a totally separate incident. I'm not so sure that though, and a lot of people aren't so sure that though, they're thinking that it's a possibility. I mean, what is the likelihood of her, you know, catching these guys having sex, trying to blackmail them for 5K, for five stacks, and then her being dead less than two hours later, shot up. At an intersection, less than two hours later. So a lot of people who seen the video heard her going off and talking about, yeah, I asked them for 5K, I want five racks, and or I'm telling, or whatever, whatever. Some people is like blaming her for her own death. And some people is like, oh, well, you have freedom of speech to say what you want to, and nobody had a right to die over a situation like that just because she wanted to let people know what she witnessed. Hey, real mamas. Hey, real problems. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Um, again, the conference line is open. So if anybody wants to call in, feel free to call in that number and let me know how you feel about this situation. 605-475-4074. And the access code is 753359. Um, now, again, as I was saying earlier, I'm sorry, I'm reading... People are sending me uh, comments off of the video, off of the ladies' video. They're um, commenting on it while I'm live. <laughs> so I'm trying to read them in the court. But uh, yeah, somebody had commented earlier and asked me, um, did I know the guys or did I have a picture of the guys? Now, what I shall do is let me go real quickly to let's see do i have my facebook pulled up we gonna take a trip over to instagram how many of y'all are following me on instagram because that's where i'm going to post it and, and it's crazy because it's crazy because she she said the guy's name she said the guy's name on the Facebook Live. The name was like Jamel, J-A-M-A-E-L Carter. And she said his name and he had actually went to Facebook and he made his own particular post. And again, this is all allegedly because although a lot of people who witnessed this video rant from this lady after she busted these guys have a sex, and although she explained threatened to expose them if they didn't give her five thousand dollars i'm not going to just say this is the guy that killed her you know i'm not going to say that but what i will do is post a picture of the guy that allegedly she exposed and i'm going to post that on my instagram so if y'all got instagram got ig i'm about to post that real quick let's see jamal i had downloaded the pictures and the posts earlier 
One, two, three, four, five picks. Okay. So if y'all got IG, it's the hood table. All one word, the hood table on IG. That's where I'm going to post the pictures. Okay, I'm saving them on my phone so I can upload them on my IG. I'm doing it right now. Okay, let's see. I'm going to upload all of them at one time. Alleged murderer of... Jane Okay, y'all get ready to take a trip over to um IG so y'all can check out the photos if y'all ain't already seen them. The lady who caught two guys in J engaged in sex and threatened to expose them for $5,000. Exclamation point. Yes, I'm I'm do, using my voice text. <laughs> okay, share. All right, I just posted it on my IG, so y'all have to go over to the IG. James Tucker, you said, was the video footage of the guys or is it just her way of extorting or blackmailing the dudes? See, that's the thing. That's why I'm not going to say that's that's the guy who murdered her. I'm saying allegedly, James Tucker. Um, but if you go over to my Instagram, which is the hood table on IG, you can look at the pictures. The guy, Jamel. He had actually, let me see. He had actually posted um, something on his Facebook. And let me read y'all what it says. And But I put his picture on my IG. Okay, let's see. Okay, Jamel. Okay, this is what he posted on IG. I mean, this is what he posted on his Facebook. He said, wow, you really find out who is for you when they hear some shit. It's always the first side of the story that gets believed. If you listen to the story of me supposedly effing, you know, effing my cousin and you believed it, Thank you. I wouldn't have known how fake you were had not this happened. First of all, I don't know her, never dealt with her. Second, wasn't school out yesterday? President's Day, right? So where in the hell did the school bus come in from? Three, now y'all are putting my name in on her death. Like, what is it y'all want? For, he said, like, what is it y'all want from me? Y'all speak when you see me, then turn around and slander me. I'm going to say this. Make my name taste like shit when you speak it. I don't owe y'all shit. No explanation. If anyone has something to say to me, where y'all at, I'll pull up. That's what he said. Now, somebody had copied that from his page, and they posted it on the lady who was killed. They posted it on one of her posts. And it was like, ain't that crazy that he said he don't even know her? So that person went a little further and she found a comment and all these pics, all these pics from these Facebook posts are on my IG. The actual lady, Jane Wallfield, who was murdered, she had comment on one of his pics on Facebook and it said, can you give me a call? So he said he didn't even know her. And so the person who found these uh, posts, 
She said uh, they were going to kill her whether she went FB Live or not. She said they were chasing her with their pants down. Jamal Carter, the individual she named during her live, made a post last night saying he didn't know her. But that was determined to be a lie after further research. And the further research was, you know, it appears that they are Facebook friends or something because that Jane lady that died, she sure commented on one of his posts before this and said, can you give me a call? So I don't know. Y'all can, you know, y'all can let me know how y'all feel about that. But the thing is for me, you said, uh, what's your IG? Is it the hood table? Yep, it's the hood table, all one word. The hood table, all one word. Matter of fact, hold on one second. One second. Are you over there now, James? <clears throat> yeah, the pics are over there. The hood table is all one word, just like our um YouTube channel name, the hood table, all one word on uh IG. You can go over there and you can see the picture of the guy that allegedly was one of the guy that she used to kick it with, that um she busted having sex with the, another guy who he claimed to be his cousin. Now, um just reading the news reports, it says an Indianapolis one woman died on Tuesday after being shot just hours after going live on Facebook to expose a man for being gay, having accidentally caught him in a sexual act. But they said there is no proof that the two incidents are connected. So like I said before, they're thinking that it's an isolated incident. Um, I'm sure after further investigations, Maybe they'll come up with something else to pinpoint exactly who, you know, kill her. But um, they said the woman has been identified as Jane Warfield. She took the social media for a now deleted 17 minute rant. And again, I told y'all earlier that Facebook deleted the rant. Um, I was able to get the video though. So if you um, look on my YouTube channel to the video I posted this morning, um, it's the full 17-minute video, unedited, full 17-minute video. Um, they said, upon returning to re retrieve her phone and going through an unlocked door, she witnessed a man having sex with another man. Warfield, who appeared to be homophobic in her assessment, and a lot of people are saying that she did appear to be homophobic. Um, I, I'm not going to agree with that or disagree. I, I still think the lady was just shocked like appalled like i mean it, it, it i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know if y'all think she was homophobic again the phone lines are open y'all can comment in the chat or call and let me know how y'all feel but um it says uh Walfield, who appeared to be homophobic in her assessment, also says she extorted money from, well, tried to extort money from the man asking for five bands to keep her silence. Failed attempts to get him to send her the money is apparently what initiated the Facebook Live. Through her diatribe, she constantly says she fears for her life. I do recall seeing that in the video. She did say if anything ever happens to her, um, the man should be blamed. Um, and then two hours later, she was shot and involved in a subsequent multi-car collision. Police said they heard gunshots before the crash. Um, they did say that they don't know yet. Well, they, they probably do by now. But the last reports I saw, they didn't know if she died actually from the gunshots or if she got died from the car wreck. But I'm going to assume the gunshots. That's what I'm going to assume. But they said the woman in the car who was identified as Walfield was taken to the hospital where she died. And this is a developing story. So as we get more information in, you know, we will post more information. Um, there was another guy who was also taken to the hospital who was seriously injured. I don't know if that was just somebody in another car or somebody who has something to do with the shooting or it's pretty vague right now. It's pretty vague right now. But what a lot of people is focusing on is, did she deserve to die? And that's what I want to talk to you guys about tonight. Like, do y'all think that 
Um, that it was karma. Like, do y'all think that she deserved to die? Do y'all think she should have kept her mouth shut? Do y'all think that you had a freedom of speech? Like some people say you had a freedom of speech. You can say what you want. You can post what you want. If she called two guys having sex and she wanted to post it on Facebook, you know, that's her prerogative. People are like literally blaming this lady. And me personally, when somebody asked me about it earlier, I was like, well... If that would have happened to me and I would have called some guy that I had no idea that he was gay or bi or fluid um, and we had a prior relationship or situationship, um, I don't think I would have took it to Facebook. Now, I'm not saying that I wouldn't have told somebody because I'm sure I would. And I probably would have called my bestie first. I was like, girl, what? girl, can you believe? Guess what happened? Guess what I saw? I mean, I wouldn't judge her for that. But the fact that she tried to extort money, tried to blackmail them, um, and then also went on Facebook Live bragging about it. I mean, I wouldn't have done all that. But my thing is also did she deserve to die like one thing about this whole picture that a lot of people might not be seeing is the fact that there's guys out here that are on the low that will do anything to keep it a secret instead of just being who they are and coming out the closet and being with who they want to be with. It's a lot of that going on. Let me read some of y'all cons, cons, uh, James. You said that Spencer. Yeah, that Spencer Project's behind me. That's the hood behind me. Well, one of the hoods in Omaha. You already know, James. <laughs> you said it's cool what she did. You said it's cool what she did. It's her, but is she being mature? I don't think it was... Mm, huh. Love made a dead rest in peace. I don't want to be up here bashing this woman or anything like that. I don't think it was mature the way she went about it. That's my thing. I would have said something. I would have said something. And our little old city in Omaha, Nebraska, it probably would have got around like a blunt. It probably would have went around like a blunt. But I wouldn't have extorted them. I wouldn't have blackmailed them. I wouldn't have done none of that. But again, again, I this 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 is a hard one. This is a hard one to digest because it's so many things that went wrong in this picture. It's so many things that went wrong with this picture. Like, do y'all think that she would have not died? If she, that that's another thing. I see a lot of comments out there about people saying she would have died anyway because of the way those men were so upset that she had caught them. And then she said they chased her out the house with their pants down like they were going to attack her. She was afraid. She claimed, I was afraid. I hurried up to my car and peeled off. And she claims the only reason why they couldn't catch her was because they stopped at the door because she said there were some kids outside. Now, the guy who allegedly was the one she busted, he posted, y'all Y'all heard me read his Facebook post. He said he didn't even know her. And then he was like, oh, wasn't that President's Day? Um, What kids went to school? And I'm like, I ain't from Indianapolis. I know a lot of kids are out of school on President's Day, but shoot, we went to Christian school for, well, I only went for two years. <laughs> That's all I can handle. Two years. <laughs> but we went to school on holidays, unless it was unless it was like Christmas or Easter or Thanksgiving or July 4th. Like, we went to school on them other holidays. President's Day, oh, we was there in school. Shoot, Martin Luther King Day. Oh, we was there in school. So, you know, different schools have different calendars. So I don't know. I didn't verify that if the kids were really in school or not. But it could have been a it could have been a daycare bus because even if school is out, daycare is still open. 
on Martin Luther King. Some people got to go to work, so daycare is still open. Nephew Charming Chucky, hey, what's up? You said I love the hood table. All right, all right, all right. And I love you too, nephew. <laughs> she did tell the truth. I mean, she, she told the truth and, and you know, People are like going in, like every not everybody, not everybody. If you go to her Facebook page, though, let hold up. Matter of fact, let me hold on, hold on, y'all. Her Facebook page has over ten thousand comments on her last post because the last post that she made was on February seventeenth. Today is the twentieth, right? Yep, today is the 20th. So the last post she made was on February 17th. And it said, why I just used my worker phone. And on his call log, he has boss lady. Then she got some emojis after that. That was her last Facebook post. And so you know how it usually goes. When somebody has Facebook um, and they pass away or they in the hospital, they sick or whatnot, um people strangers friends family they normally comment on the last the most recent post their rest in peace or whatever they got to say you know regarding the situation and there are 10,000 posts 10,000 posts now at february 17th at 7:42 a.m. was when she posted the video on facebook that 17 minute rant about the gay guys that she busted having sex, which is on my YouTube channel. And I posted it this morning. If y'all missed it, um, y'all got to check it out. But, um, and it's the full video, 17 minutes. But Facebook had actually deleted that. I don't know if it was deleted because somebody reported it or if it was deleted because of the situation, like her being killed shortly after the video. So I, I don't know. I don't know why they uh, reported it. But anyway, this lady, she's followed by, third, oh, by almost 14,000 people on Facebook. It says she's in a relationship or she was in a relationship. I, I don't know. But if y'all go to her page and her name is Jane Wallfield, I'm going to type it in the chat. Y'all probably already know that, though, from all the news reports. And her actual Facebook name says Jane Space, the mayor, the mayor, like the mayor, all in one word. And then her last name, W-A-U-G-H-F-I-E-L-D. So that's who it is. You said, what was her goal to relate? What was her goal? Okay, hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. I missed some comments. Oh, real mama said you at work, otherwise you would call in. That's okay, honey. If don't nobody want to call in, it's cool. It's cool. I appreciate y'all just sitting here watching me and listening. But, you know, I would like to hear what people have to say, whether they are for the lady having her freedom of speech and not deserving to die, or if they are for the guys, you know, being upset for her trying to extort them. I mean, in the end, extortion is against the law, okay? <laughs> extortion, blackmail is against the law. Um, That's why I can't understand why she would say she did that on Facebook. Because let's say, let's say, hypothetically speaking, let's say she didn't die. And let's say she got on Facebook and she... um threaten to expose them for five thousand dollars they could in return sue her for extortion and she could end up in prison I i'm just saying hypothetically because it is illegal but again you know a lot of people are saying she would have died anyway regardless if she blackmailed them or not um again if y'all ain't seen the video um it's on YouTube. A lot of people got the video before Facebook deleted it. I got it on my YouTube channel. All you got to do is go to the last video that I posted this morning. Um, and it has the full video. But I'm going to read y'all some of the comments on her uh, Facebook page. Let's see. 
All right. I'm a, this is one comment. It's rather lengthy, but I'm going to read it to y'all. Somebody posted 43 minutes ago on this young lady's Facebook page. They said, I'm never going to sit here and act like she deserved to die, but I am going to say that her actions is what led her to die. This was not her husband. This was somebody that she was no longer having a relationship with, that she was strictly trying to extort for money. I could understand if this was a person who was in a relationship with her or if she wanted to contact this person's significant other to let them know. She did not have to take it to social media, though, which is what I said. I wouldn't have put it on social media, but, you know, everybody don't think the same way. Uh, she said that they were trying to kill her before she left. So for her to go on Facebook Live, put all their business out there and threaten them for money was not smart. She's dead simply for clout and extortion. This could have all been avoided. The guys that were responsible for her death should be in jail for the rest of their life, but this could have all been avoided had she had made better decisions. So I'm never going to say that killing someone is okay because it's not, but I can say if you do play with fire, you will indeed get burned. That's what one person had to say on the lady's Facebook page. What I want to add to that, and then I'm going to read some of y'all comments. What I'm going to add, I'm not ignoring y'all, <laughs> but uh, what I want to add to that is, do y'all think it's a possibility that if, okay, like a lot of people are saying, she probably would have ended up in the same situation even if she didn't go um, on social media and tell everybody what she saw. They're saying since she was fearing for her life, she said they were chasing her down, they were trying to kill her, they were trying to attack her when she, after she busted them. Who's to say if they would have killed her or not? Now, if she posted it on social media, I mean, if she had not have posted it on social media, would we have known who the alleged people are. You know what I mean? So if she wouldn't have posted it on social media, if they would have killed her anyway, people would just think, oh my God, what happened? Oh my God. You know, they already said it's been 34 or 30, over 34 murders in that area in Indianapolis already this year. Who's to say they might not just add that on to the list? Oh, it must have been gang violence. Oh, it must have been... Um, uh, wrong. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, wrong person, or I can't think what I'm trying to say right now. But uh, you know what I mean when somebody accidentally shoots the wrong person. You know what I mean. Um, who's to say they would have had any clues as to why she died? So I'm not saying she should have went to social media, but I'm saying that might help solve the case. And as far as who killed her, you know, I don't know. Again, if y'all want to call in, feel free. The number's posted right there. Let me read uh, some of y'all comments. Uh, let's see. Uh, or miss connections from credit. There's so many download men on there. Oh, local girl said on miss connections from Craigslist, it is so many download men on there. It's an epidemic. And James Tucker, yep, she did say she keep her gun with her. She said she was trying to hurry up and get to that car because she had her gun in her car. So she was trying to hurry up and get to her car. Um, let's see. Nana said. I think she is a hero. She saved lots of women's lives. Be careful out there. I think she knew her time was limited for what she saw. You know, Nana, that could be true because in the video, like after she was ranting and going on and on for minutes, it seemed like, I don't know. Y'all let me know. If y'all seen the whole video, if y'all seen the whole video, like she was all hyped and she was on 10 I mean, she was amped up, pumped up and everything, you know, from the beginning of the video. Then it got to a point where she was just like, y'all, if something happened to me, I was scared. And you could just, her whole demeanor kind of changed, like, as if she was probably thinking, 
should I have went viral? You know, should I have went, you know, on social media and said this? You know, it's kind of already out there. She could have deleted the video. You know, that's another thing. She could have deleted the video. But again, who's to say she wouldn't, you know, still have ended up dead? We don't know. We don't know. Let's see what else y'all talking about in the chat. Uh, local girl, local girl said, I feel her death opens up as much needed discussion that needs to be addressed. That's what I was saying earlier. Local girl, I was saying earlier that the, the bigger issue here for me is that men feel like they have to. Um, okay. And it's not just men. It's not just men. So I'm not just going to say down low men because there are women out here too who, uh, you know, want to be maybe uh, come out as a lesbian or gay or uh, fluid as they call the new term fluid. I'm, I, I just love how that sounds. I'm, I'm sorry. I just love how that sounds. But anyway, or bisexual or whatnot, there's men and women who don't want nobody to know that they like the opposite sex. But to go so far as to attack people, I mean, that does happen a lot, a lot more than a lot more than we know. People getting busted, getting caught, having sex. It might not be no extortion or no blackmail involved at all. They just are outed and then they sometimes kill themselves, sometimes kill the person who try to out them or try to kill the person or they lie and say that person is lying. They don't know what they're talking about. You know, they just trying to, you know, it, it happens a lot. And that's why I was saying earlier in the live that it, it has to come to a point where people have to just start. This is me. This is who I am. If don't nobody accept you for who you are, then you need to find somebody else who accepts you. If if I'm gay and you don't like it, and no, I'm not. I'm straight. I'm strictly, you know what? But I'm just saying, if I am, it's like uh, I'm up to the age now where... <laughs> You know how they say, if you ain't feeding me, if you ain't effing me, if you ain't paying my bills, then you ain't got no right to tell me what I should and should not be doing. That's like where I'm at in my life. And I've been like that for a long time. And a lot of people are too. So if you, I mean, it's it's 2020. It, and it's almost the middle of 2020, about to be 2021. People have to learn how to, I don't know if it takes therapy, if you guys need to go to get some uh go to a, a family therapist or go a psychiatrist. I don't know what it takes, but people need to stop being ashamed of who they are. Like it, 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 it's, it, it's 2020. A lot more people are understanding. A lot more people even try to go out their way to understand. A lot more parents, a lot more friends, a lot more relatives, they try to go out of their way to understand what's fluid, what's gay, what's L-B-G-I-T-Q-U-R-V-T. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are going out their way to understand because it's like, it's not 1940. It's not 1970. It's 2020. And we, you know, they don't really have proof right now. If they do got proof that these guys kill her, they ain't, they ain't released the information yet. So that's why I'm saying allegedly, allegedly. The guy that I posted on my Instagram that uh, claimed he didn't know her, that is who they are alleging kill her they are alleging that he is the one who she called having um sex with another guy who he claimed was his cousin but you know it, it's all alleged right now for the moment hey miss nasty us. hey how you doing thanks for tuning in tonight i see fellow youtubers in the chat i see fellow youtubers in the chat um let's see who else says something you said, what was her? Did I read that already? I read your comment already, James. You said, what was her going to relate someone socially that address her own flaws? Or, hold on, let me put your... Okay, James said, what was her goal to relate some new socially? 
I wonder do she address her own flaws or secret publicity, but if they chase her, she should have she could have crashed. Yeah, she could have crashed, but they did say that she was shot. They did say that she was shot, but the last thing that I read was um she they didn't know if she was I, I think they're just keeping it under wraps right now. I think she died from the gunshots, but um they last I saw they said they don't know if she died from the gunshots or if she died from a car wreck. Um if y'all got some updated information um since the last time I checked uh please feel free to post it. Just read in, read in the comments. Read in the comments. Local girl, the public gossip and most could lose jobs and marriages if they came out. Yep, yep. And I'm just gonna assume, I mean, I might be going out on a limb, but I'm just gonna assume that they probably did have girlfriends. Or baby mamas, or I don't know, really religious parents, really judgmental friends. I mean, you you never know. You you never know what people who don't want to come out the closet. You never know what it is. It could be that they think people. I mean, okay, I know I'm not the only person who has a gay relative or a gay friend, and when they come out and tell you. I'm gay. I'm bi or I'm gay or I'm lesbian or I'm gay. I like men. I'm a man. I like men. And y'all be like, okay, and it's about time. We've been knowing this forever. It's about time. Do you feel better now? <laughs> okay, now can we go to the club where we was headed or can we go out to eat or, you know, everybody knows at least one person that you know or thought was gay or bi or lesbian or anything like that. And when they come out and tell you like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm still treating you the same. I have people in my family. I have friends like that. And I'm like, okay, all right. You know, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Who am I to judge? We all do something that some people could perceive as wrong. We all do. I mean, and if we if we look at the if we look at the religious aspect when it comes down to the Ten Commandments, we all sin it every day. <laughs> we all sin it every day. Somebody woke up this morning lying. Somebody woke up this morning drunk. Somebody woke up this morning backstabbing. Somebody sleeping with somebody else's man or woman. I mean, somebody done stole something. Somebody. I mean, see, that's why I try my best not to judge people. Because ain't none of us perfect. Ain't none of us perfect. And when it comes to that time when somebody has to read off everything we done done, what you did ain't going to be no worse than what somebody else did. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You said, uh, local girl, personally, I'm an all-out lesbian and it's so much easier. And I believe it. I believe it. I believe I absolutely believe that it's so much easier. I mean, I, I haven't walked in your shoes, local girl. I haven't walked in nobody's shoes who's gay or lesbian or fluid. Don't tease me, y'all, but I just love that fluid. Like you just do whatever you want. Just you know, some people, some people, you know, that that's just their life. That's what that's what they like. Some people is experimental. Some people they don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. And I don't think it's cool to blast them out on social media. It's like, just like with, um, if somebody had a disease, like, like, let's say somebody got AIDS, you know, and, and people blast them on social media. Oh, they got AIDS, blah, blah, blah. you know, stuff like that ain't cool. Discussing somebody's sexual preference on social media. I don't think it was cool. Now, I'm not saying that she deserved to die. I'm not saying that at all. Cause don't nobody deserve to die at all but i think she should have she should have could have went a different way about it like okay you know if you if you got girlfriends or um if i'm still messing with you and see that's the thing that's another thing y'all like we don't know if she claims on the video that they ain't kicked it in a minute and that all he ever did, did for her was give her oral sex that's what she claimed 
That's what she claimed. But could that have been the extent of their relationship? We don't know. Because me personally, like somebody said on her Facebook page, somebody said them personally wouldn't have even been upset. Like, dude, if I kicked it with you two, three, four, five, eleven, fifteen years ago, and I caught you having sex with some guy, I'd be like, oh, dude, you you could have told me, but but maybe I'm just I'm just cut from a different cloth. I'm just cut from a different cloth because I'm just like stuff don't bother me so much like that. Like if I caught some some girls kissing, girl, why for real? When you start, when you went really, when did you realize that you was gay, girl? Let's talk about it, girl. Tell me, I want to know everything. Or even you know when I had homeboys or guy cousins who came out gay, really? When did you know? I mean, like, how is it? Like, is it a different experience from girls and guys? I'm just inquisitive like that. I'm not judgmental. I'm inquisitive, you know, so it's, it's a big difference and it, it, it makes it more comfortable for people who come out for you to be more inquisitive than judgmental. You know what I mean? And local girl, like I said, I never walked in your shoes, but I can totally believe that it's a lot easier if you just be yourself. Just come out, you know, just come out and just do it. Just do it. Like Nike, just do it. You said, uh, hold on, let me read some comments. Nephew Charmin Chucky said the Aaron Hernandez documentary, Bold and Scared. Yeah, that's a set. You know what, Nephew Char, I was going to do a review on that. I haven't done it yet because I haven't sat down and actually watched the whole documentary. Um, but that is something that I wanted to do a review on because I heard it was really, really good. Um, also, James Tucker said, it's not the sin that's just against manhood to play straight, but real be opposite. You got to give people an option. Right. That's the, right. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. I'm like this. If if you um if you are straight and you are a woman, most straight women don't want to have sex with a man who has or who likes to have sex with another man. That's just that's just the way it is. Now on the flip side, a lot of men do not mind for women to have sex with another woman. If anything, they want to get in between them or they want to watch. <laughs> I mean, it's just the way of nature. Now, that's not every guy. That's not every guy. Because some guys like, oh, you want a female? Well, you ain't going to be with me. You going to be strictly with me or you going to be with her? You know, some guys are like, uh-uh, is, is her or me? It's her or me. <laughs> they don't care if it's a man. They don't care if it's another woman. You got to choose. But, um, a lot of guys are like, hey, <laughs> for real, man, I would have never known, girl. <laughs> but, you know, most straight women, we want a man to be up front with us and be like, okay, I mean, I know when you first meet people, it's not natural to tell everybody your life story, what you've been through. Uh, what your flaws are, what your credit score are, is, you know what I mean? But I think that if you are having sex with somebody, regardless if it's a man or a woman, regardless if it's a man or a woman, the other person that you're having sex with has a right to know that you are sexually involved with somebody else. That's just what I'm saying. Now, if you are not sexually involved, then you don't have to tell nobody nothing. That's how I feel. Because again, there's a lot of people out here who don't know. They like, they on the fence. They like, am I gay? Am I straight? Do I really like women? Do I really like men? Do you know? <laughs> Some people just don't know. And so they date. They just date. But I always say, whether you, whether you man, woman, straight, gay, bi, 
fluid, whatever. If you are sexually engaged with somebody, I think they have a right to know that you're having sex with multiple people. I mean, I just think that's the common courtesy. And if they want to still kick it with you and they still want to knock the boots with you, um, you know, that's their prerogative. And some people don't care. I mean, look at all the side chicks out here and the side Negroes. And some people don't care. <laughs> they don't care if you got a uh they don't care if you got a main chick, a main man, they don't care if you're married, divorced, single, they don't care. They don't care. James T James Tucker's <laughs> if you don't stop, <laughs> hold on, let me get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't stop, <laughs> oh Lord. Hey, Miss Ho. Hey, baby. Hey, beautiful. How you doing this evening? Nephew Tommy Chucky said, Local girl, I agree. And she should have did what she did. She should have did what she did because they was going to kill her anyway. And see, that's what, see, Nephew Charming, Nephew Charming Chucky, that's why I said earlier too. If she wouldn't have went live, would they have known who the alleged murderers are? Because if again, if you saw the whole video, which I posted this morning on my YouTube channel, if you saw the whole video, it got to a point where I was like, kind of like fearing for her. Like, seriously, like if I would have watched this video before she came up dead. When it got to that point in the video where it just seemed like she was um, kind of unsure of herself or kind of afraid, I was like thinking to myself, like, girl, you, you sure this is what you want to do? I mean, you could just tell her something. It was like maybe the hairs on the back of her neck stood up or something. You could just tell. It was like something passed over her and she all of a sudden was just in a totally different frame of mind. Her whole demeanor was different. It was like, y'all, they ran out that house like, man, I couldn't wait till she said, I felt so safe when I got to my car where my pistol was. And she said, if something happens to me, that's why I'm like, I think it's a coincidence. That would be like such a coincidence that she did this live on social media, on Facebook, and then she ended up dead. And they were not the cause. So, Ms. Hall said, you never know how some... <laughs> You never know how kinky some people are. And that's true. That's true. That, that, that's very true. A lot of people, they don't, again, again, it's side, side chicks and side Negroes everywhere. They don't care. Shoot, they, they don't care if you're messing around with somebody else. As long as they get them a little something, something, something through the week, you know, they, they good till next week, till till. <laughs> So you can get away from your main, you know, your main woman or main chick or main dude. They okay to, you know, they see you next week. And then some people like guys, they don't care if you gay, lesbian, bi, you know, when it comes to women. And, you know, it is to each his own. Do whatever makes you happy. That's all I have to say. Do whatever makes you happy. And if you get to the point where you feel like you got to get aggressive toward people because they found out that you like the opposite sex, then you might need some counseling. You might need some counseling or move away to another state. Go to the A. Go to California. Go somewhere where a lot of people just look at gays and lesbians like it's, the, like it's just another girl or it's just another guy. You know, you, you got to handle that situation, like, for real. He said, but she usually, but she said she usually talk even bigger when she get in the car by, oh, yeah, I, I saw, I remember that. I remember that. And I can imagine. <laughs> you know what, James? That's kind of like when you, <laughs> that's kind of like when you get into it with someone and y'all arguing and y'all going back and forth. It's a little bit different 
from if it was you and like five of your homies. It's a little bit different. Sometimes, sometimes. Like, I know we all know one person, whether it's from grade school, high school, from on the block, somewhere. And when you approach them, they ain't got nothing to say. They quiet as a mouse. They not aggressive. They not confrontational. But as soon as they get with they clue, they crew or they click, oh, you can step on their foot. And it's oh, oh my mama, oh my hood. I'ma whoop yo. But they would never do nothing like that if they were alone by themselves. So yeah, I'm, a pistol, a pistol will definitely make you talk bigger, make you a lot bolder too, more courageous as i would say more courageous i ain't gonna lie when i when i got my little mace on me where my mace hold up hold up where my mace <laughs> when i got my little mace on me i feel a little bit more courageous <laughs> i keep mace on me in the car in my purse on my person <laughs> You said, don't do nothing you're going to grab. That's right. That's right. Miss Hogg, I knew she put herself in harm's way. She did. And, you know, a lot, like I said, a lot of, some people are straight dragging her. Like, if you go to her Facebook page, I'm telling you, that last post on her Facebook page that she posted hours before her demise is over 10,000 comments on that post. And a lot of people are dragging her for a filth. Like, for one, they're saying, why'd you walk in their house without being, you know, uh, told to enter? But she claims she called her phone. She called her phone. You know, she left her phone at their uncle crib or whatever the dude's uncle's house where she, where she met the dude. They weren't answering the phone when she got to the house. And, and, you know, sometimes you got to put yourself in people's shoes, too. Because me, personally, I'm a YouTuber. I got three YouTube channels. I got two sons. I got um, a, a cake business. I'm a, a personal um, custom cake decorator. So if I lose my phone, I'm telling y'all, I could be 10 miles from my house. And I will turn all the way back around and come get my phone. <laughs> and that is no lie. No lie. I will, mm -mm. I'll probably try to break record speed doing it if I'm in a rush somewhere, but I will come all the way back to get my phone. So um, she came back, knocked on the door, no answer. They ain't answering her phone because, you know, sometimes when you leave your phone and you call it, somebody will answer, say they got your phone. So she turned the lock and it was open. Who wouldn't do that? Who wouldn't do that? If you calling your phone and calling your phone and you know you left it at such and such house and you calling and they not answering and then you go to their house and they not answering the doorbell, they not answering the door, what would you do? And you know your phone is on the other side of that door. I would have tried the door too and see if it opened. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I would have tried it. <clears throat> Mm -mm. Yeah, local girl, they should have locked the door. Man, I'm glad somebody said it. Everybody mad at this girl because she didn't let the, she she wasn't um told that she could enter. She wasn't told to come in. They should have locked the door. Like if you're doing, come on now, if you having sexual activity with somebody. And you don't want nobody to know whether it's the opposite sex, whether you cheating on your man or cheating on your woman, whether you just being a nasty little freak and you just want to, you don't want nobody to know. You ain't going to lock your door. <laughs> Not only am I going to lock the front door, I'm going to make sure all the windows lock. I'm going to make sure the back door lock. I'm going to make sure my bedroom door lock. <laughs> And then I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to enjoy myself. <laughs> you said, no, they probably, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Let me keep my comment. I'm going to keep that comment to myself. <laughs> you about to get me started, local girl. 
you about to get me started home girl i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep that comment to myself but um who child she said she was so shocked that she kept on talking and could stop. She did. She was she was just going on and on. She's like, oh my God, oh my God, y'all. I can't believe this. Oh my God. I can't. I mean, I'm telling you, I probably would have been, I probably would have been the same way. Knowing that I messed around with some guy and caught him having sex with somebody, I probably would have been shocked. But I would have been so shocked where I'm like going on social media and trying to blackmail somebody because again, like I said. Like I said, if I'm no longer messing with you, we no longer engage in any kind of relationship, situationship, anything like that, I wouldn't even care. I'd be like, I've been to call my homegirl, girl, do you know what's we call a gay? Yeah, he gay, girl. You know, I would have been like, it would have been like a couple of phone calls. Like I said, I would I, I ain't even gonna lie. I would have made some phone calls. I'm not gonna lie. The Lord is my witness. I'm not going to lie. But I want to extort them or anything like that. So I, I really hate, I really hate that she had to die. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I, I firmly believe that she probably would have died regardless just from me watching her video. I firmly believe that she would have died regardless. I do. I really do. I really do. And I hope this sends a message for not only people who happen to find out that somebody is gay, even if it's on the down low, even if it's on the down low, and it's also a message for those of us who are on the down low, um, who are afraid to come out and who are afraid to be themselves. Yep. Over 10,000 K. Last time I checked, it was 10,000. Let me see. <clears throat> yeah, it just says 10 K. You know, once it gets to so many thousand, it don't tell you exactly 10,900, you know, it just says 10 K, but it's probably close to 11 K by now. But, um, People have to do whatever it takes to feel happy and be comfortable with themselves. And if it takes for them talking to someone or going to some meetings, making some appointments to get some counseling, anything to be comfortable with ourselves, because this should never happen. It should never happen. Regardless if she threatened to blackmail or regardless if she threatened to extort them for... 5k or a hundred dollars this shouldn't happen and again the police at this moment they're still saying you know the two incidents are not related but come on again that's a huge coincidence that's and, and the public's not buying that the public's not buying that and then on top of that like i said when i told y'all to go to my ig go to my instagram and look at the picture that i posted of the guy who allegedly she busted having sex on his facebook page he claims he don't know her so somebody went to his facebook page and they found some posts between the two of them talking and they posted it and they said he's lying he does know her check this out and it's a facebook post of his and the lady who died is in the comment section say hey you know give me a call you know stuff like that so he did know her he did know her but if if this person indeed is responsible for her death and he is on the down low and don't want nobody to find out of course they gonna go to social media and say it wasn't me i didn't have nothing to do with it. i don't even know her Still, instead of just saying, I'm gay. I'm gay. I like men. I don't like fish. I'm gay. It's just saying. Oh, my God. Yeah, her death exposed them even more. It did expose them even more. And it's like, <clears throat> some people would go to their grave. Some people would go to their grave before they let anybody know who they really are. And I think it's such a shame to live your life 
like that. I think it's such a shame. And like the older and older you get, <clears throat> the older and older we get, our time is limited. It don't matter how you feel today, next birthday, you're going to have a new ache. You're going to have a new pain. You're gonna have, you might have a few regrets. Um, it, Nobody like Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. I just have to throw that out there because he's the most recent, one of the most recent people who passed away that's well known. And it's like he didn't know he was going to die. He didn't know he woke up that morning and him and his daughter was going to leave his wife and his other children. He didn't know. We don't know how much time we got on this earth. Spend your days that you have left on this earth the way you want to. The way you want to be who you want to be. Not in the army, but you know, be who, <laughs> be who you want to be. Live your life to the fullest. Like, live your life. It, it, there are going to be some people who will never accept us, who will never like us, no matter how great we are. There's always going to be somebody who's going to shade you, who's going to disrespect you. You know, it, it's always going to be some haters. It's always going to be some haters. So you might as well, you know, keep on, let them hate, let them hate. If you gay, find a way, find somebody to talk to, go to counseling, find other people that are gay. I mean, there, there's so many, so many um, associations out here, so many organizations, so many nonprofits. It's so many out here. For people who are afraid to come out and afraid to be who they are, find some of those organizations. They're everywhere, everywhere in every city. And find a way to first take those few steps and come out to those you love first. You know, if, if they don't accept you, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Sometimes it do. Everybody ain't like me. Everybody ain't like me who be like, okay, you gay and what? <laughs> you gay, I'm straight and what? Everybody ain't like me. But some people it takes a little bit longer, you know, to come around. And some people won't never come around. But I refuse to live my life to please other people. I'm in my 40s. <laughs> I'm in my 40s. And whether you know it, once you get to your 30s and 40s, you... you <laughs> You know how many people out here dying in their 50s and 60s? <laughs> okay. We ain't all living until we 70 and 80 and 90 and 100 anymore. Live your life the way that you want to. That, that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. <clears throat> you said Patty exposed Luther Vandross. I was shocked and other people said they could tell he was... I could tell he was gay. Oh, Lord. We ain't gonna get on Luther. Luther, Luther, big Luther, little Luther. <clears throat> I knew Luther was gay. I knew it. But but again, it's, 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 it's no big deal to me. It's no big deal. He still can sing his butt off. He still can sing his butt off. Shoot. <laughs> and even if he was talking to a man while he was singing, I would still play them tunes. I would still I would sh turn I would sh turn the lights off and throw on some Luther and act like he's singing to me. <laughs> it's even pre yeah, it's a lot of preachers. It's a lot of preachers. It's a lot of deacons. It's a lot of I mean, it's down low people everywhere. It's down low people everywhere. And it's it's just crazy that people, some people will never be free. Some people will never be free. And they have these like internal demons that take over their body and will not allow them to be free. And, and it's it's sad. It's, it's such a shame that, you know, I've always been the kind of person that trust me, I was raised in church. My mother, for those of y'all who know me personally in Omaha, who know my mom, y'all know Miss Mary. <laughs> she raised us in church to read our Bibles, to pray, to go to church, sometimes seven days a week, sometimes two, three month revivals every night, all summer. I went to church. <laughs> I went to church and I know what the Bible says. I know what, you know, they preach on the pulpit. But I'm still not the kind of person that'll judge somebody and be like, oh, but well, the Bible says I'll throw stuff in their face. I mean, again, ain't nobody perfect. So 
Ain't nobody perfect. Ain't none of us perfect. The person who thinks they perfect or the person who wants you to think they perfect, I can guarantee you, you spend a week with them and you're going to be like, just like you know how you be up in church when you little girl and you hear one of the mothers curse when they outside of church. But like, oh my God, did she just curse? Did she just call this a MF and son of a, a biscuit? Did she really? Oh my God, sister Maybelline, she cursed. You know, it's like, <laughs> they used to crack me up because I'm going to church every day, every day. And they in there tell the shut up, sit down, listen to my, y'all pray, you know, all this kind of stuff. And then <laughs> you hear some of the older people in the church cussing. You go home or go to their crib and they smoking cigarettes, they drinking liquor and listening to all the worldly music. But then when it comes to church time, they in there. Who falling out in the spirit, all on the floor and stuff. I'm like, you know, <laughs> it's like you never know. You never know who people really are till you spend a little time with them. That's all I'm saying. But uh you said download people, she be put on some wait a minute, download people. Can you put on some type of low registry list so people can be warned they are in danger? Well, you know, um, about that, I wouldn't necessarily um call it you being in danger <clears throat> by somebody who's on the down low. Um, because you never know. Some people on the down low can probably um be a lot more cautious than those of us who are straight. A lot of people who are straight <clears throat> don't be as cautious as they could be. Like you think you you straight, you think the person you with straight, and <clears throat> people popping up pregnant and popping up with diseases all over the place. So just because you down low does not necessarily mean that you are not practicing safe sex. It doesn't. But again, I say whether you have a sex with a man or have a sex with a woman, if you have a sex with multiple people, I think those multiple people should know you have a sex with multiple people. And of course, we all should practice safe sex. We all should. You said, um, <clears throat> you said, what business? Hey, Jane, no. You said, what business did she have at that home? Well, she had actually went over there because the guy um, that she went over there to see, I guess they're like business associates now or has some kind of business um, to discuss. They used to have some type of relationship a while ago. And then that ended, but they have like some kind of business situation she didn't she didn't say on her facebook live the exact reason she went over there she didn't say the exact reason but she went back over there when she busted them because when she left the first time she forgot her phone so she went back for her phone and when she was calling her phone they didn't answer when she came and knocked on the door rang the doorbell they didn't answer she turned a lot because she wanted her phone bam she caught them having sex so yeah Thank you, local girl. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I used to say all the time, why do so many, <laughs> you know how many gay women it is out here who have kids? And I mean, like, little kids, like, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Some people, they either don't know what they want to do, if they want to be gay, if they want to be bi, if they want to be straight. But it's a lot of people who be females and have kids, and then you just look up and they full gay, they lesbian. I'm like, did you know that before you had your kids, after you had your kids? I don't know. I'm, I don't know, child. <laughs> I don't know. 
But yeah, look at his page. I posted his picture and his Facebook name on my IG. So go to my IG, um, The Hood Table, same as the YouTube uh, channel. It's all one word, The Hood Table. I posted the picture and the Facebook page of the guy who allegedly, allegedly has something to do with her demise. One of the guys that she busted having sex. But yeah. So anyway, I'm about to turn these phone lines off. I have the phone lines on just in case anybody wants to call in. Um, Y'all know it's not mandatory to call in when I have the phone lines open. I just like to hear what other people have to say. But I also enjoy you guys talking and being vocal in the chat as well. And I appreciate everybody who tuned in tonight. Um, Everybody who commented in the chat. <coughs> You said you were dead. Oh, Jane, we all want to smoke. You said Jane want all the smoke. We wasn't saying his name. <laughs> she she said thank you. Again, again, I said before several times tonight, I am not going to lie. If I would have walked in on that, regardless if we had a relationship or was still kicking it or wasn't kicking it no more, I know I would have picked up the phone. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I would have picked up the phone and I'd be like, hey, sis, hey, girl, guess what? Guess what? You know how you, especially you, ladies and ladies, y'all know how we are. Y'all know how we are. We get on that phone. Do, 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 do. Girl, you ain't going to believe what the heck. Girl, are you sitting down? You going to need a drink for this one? Matter of fact, let's go out for a drink. Let We, we got something to talk about. So, you know, it, it it's not unnatural for somebody to see something like that and then call their homegirls or their cousin or their sister or their bestie or whatever and be like, girl. But, yeah, on, on, on the live, though, I wouldn't have done that. I would I wouldn't have done that. I'm not trying to judge this lady. She had her reasons to do it. Um and I still say and I still firmly believe that if she wouldn't have done it, then the police probably would have had absolutely no leads as to who to look at or you know where to start their investigation. So hopefully within a few days, uh we'll know. James, how you said, what's the lady Facebook? Oh, her name is, I put it in a chat a little bit a while ago, but her name is, uh, let me type it in the chat again. I'll type it in the chat again. <coughs> her name is Jane the Mayor Lawfield on Facebook. So I just typed it in. It's over 10,000 comments, but I'm telling you, some people is supporting her. Some people is dragging her. Because some people was looking at it like, oh, she's homophobic, and that's why she did it. She got on there. She just trying to embarrass these guys and slander them. Woo -woo -woo -woo. I think if she would have left out the, I told them I want five thousand dollars. You got a fifty thousand dollar truck, so you can afford to give me five thousand dollars. I mean, again, exploitation and blackmail is illegal. It's illegal. So that's something that she probably should not have done on social media because she was setting herself up for that. Like I said earlier, even if she have died, they could have, if they wanted to, try to press charges on her for trying to extort them. And, and, and that's a serious crime. It's a serious crime. You said men talk under, hey, Miss Free Set Frierson. You said men talk under women's clothes to their homeboys all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Men do it all the time. They might say they don't. Mm -hmm. They might say they don't. <laughs> See, the thing about it is, the thing about it is, men, they won't tell you about they woman, they man. They won't, nah, 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 nah. They ain't telling their homeboy how good it is, what it tastes like, what it feel like, what it smell like, what it be like. They ain't doing that with the main chick. But with all the side chicks, all them other roosters out there, the hood rats and all that, whatever y'all want to call them. I don't know what the new terminology is these days. But, um, oh, they'll tell, oh, yeah. 
I went over her house. Yeah, she had 10 kids in there, and they ain't even eight, but I went up in there anyway, and we was uh watching Netflix. We was Netflix and chilling all right. You know, they'll, they'll tell that. <laughs> but they ain't going to tell the main stuff because they don't want... They don't want their boys to be like, you know, imagining. They don't want them to start using their imagination and try to, you know, slide in. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't lying. Y'all know I ain't lying. Come on now. Shoot. <laughs> Nephew, try, you want to call in? <laughs> Hold on. I'll put the number up. I didn't already hung up the phone, though. You want me to turn the phone lines back on, Nephew Char? <laughs> Oh my God. Do you really want me to turn the phone lines on? You want to call in? <laughs> Hold on. What's the other comment say? <clears throat> I'll have to turn the phone lines back on if you want to call in, though. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. 605 475. Okay, access code 753359 pound. Okay, nephew. The phone lines is open. So if you really want to call in, the phone lines is open. I do need to put my phone on the charger though. Reach down here for my charger cord. You said yes, they tell everything. Oh uh, I got I got a lot of brothers. I got I mean I got a lot of boy cousins, guy cousins, and I have several brothers. So I know they ain't gonna talk about the main chick, but that side, oh, the stories my cousins used to tell me about females. Oh my god, not like I wanted to know either. I'm like, I mean, they would drag them. They would talk about, oh, my God. I'll be like, why are you even with her? Why? When you got this dime piece over here, why are you with that zero? Why are you? I don't know. Sometimes one isn't enough. One isn't enough. But I'm going to leave this phone line on for like a few more minutes. If Nephew Charlie wants to call in, I don't even know if he's still in the chat. Uh, somebody sent me a... Hold up, what's this? <laughs> I love how y'all send me information on stories. Y'all know y'all can always hit me up on the hood table on IG or Facebook, right? A lot of times, some of the stuff that some of the topics that we come up with, we aren't actually the one who come up with them. People will inbox me on uh, Facebook or they'll, you know, be in my uh, on my IG. And they'll send me a message on IG. So it's the hood table on Facebook, Twitter and IG. So if y'all ever wanted to send me a message or, you know, refer a story to me or I do TV show reviews, movie reviews, documentaries. If you ever wanted to, you know, hey, Tanya, could you talk about this show or whatever, you know. <clears throat> so and thanks for the new subscribers. Denise, what's on my mind? McKay just subscribed to the channel. There's some other ones that have popped up earlier, but they go away after a while. So I can't recall all the people that just subscribed recently, but thank you so much. I appreciate everybody on the Hood Squad. I really, really do. Make sure, again, you follow us on Twitter, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and also IG. And my co-host was supposed to be on with me tonight, but she was she had to be absent tonight. So my co-host, Miss Carmel Diva, she will be with us tomorrow night because tomorrow night we got um, a good topic that we're going to be discussing about um, insurance and Medicare and disability 
and people who are on disability and can't get the care that they want or have to go through all these hoops and loops and appeals and all kind of stuff to try to get the care that they doctor, you know, keep expressing that they need. So that's what we're going to be talking about tomorrow night. So if there's anybody out there who is disabled or can't find a way to get um, approved for certain medical equipment or medical care, that's what we're going to be talking about tomorrow night. So, but um, I think nephew Tom and Chucky probably is not even in the chat anymore because he did tell me what's the phone line number like 10 minutes ago. So he probably dropped out the chat. So if anybody's not calling in, you said that's why we're not getting through. What, ha what happened? They're routing the calls. What you mean they're routing the calls? <clears throat> I got the phone line on right now. Ain't no calls coming in. <laughs> Are you dialing the right phone number? My IG and um, FB name is the same as my uh, YouTube. It's the hood table. Are you are you dialing the right number, nephew Charming Chucky? 605-475-4074. You said I want to know is the casting couch real in the entertainment industry? Um, I do believe it is. <laughs> Local girl, I do believe it is. I sure do. And you know what? When that really started to come out with in the industry about these big wigs, the big produce, producers, movie makers, the big Hollywood, you know, uh, big wigs. Um, I, I started to think, like, I was talking to somebody the other, maybe a week or so ago. And I'm like, what happened to all the, the talent from back in the day? Like, okay, the people who were in music. The people who were acting and actresses who were really, really good. Like, what happened to them? Sometimes people just fall off the map and they be one-hit wonders. Or you see them in a movie and they do a great job and you never see them again. I believe it because there's too many stories out here and too many people in the industry that have been caught with their hand in the cookie jar or with their pants pulled down and, you know, getting lawsuits and then people getting sent to jail and they killing themselves, they offering themselves in jail. I'm, man, I hate, just like the R. Kelly, I hate to think, I hate to imagine how many people have been on the red couch. I hate to imagine. I really do. It's probably more than we can imagine. More than we can imagine. And like the Harry Weinsteins and the Epsteins and the Cosbys and the R. Kellys, like a lot of people don't come forward because these people are so huge. Ain't nobody gonna believe you, little old you. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna believe you that I I touched you without permission. You know that's that's usually how it goes. And then people stay quiet, and then you know, then they get gusto comes out of somewhere or they hear somebody else that went through the same thing and that's when they you know start to come forward just like <coughs> oh okay y'all know for those of y'all who've been following me y'all know i was following and covering a murder trial in my area for a young college student that was uh murdered um 10 years ago and the trial started three weeks ago and i was covering the trial i was going back and forth to court taking notes and everything, listening to all the witnesses and blah, 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 blah. And one of the main things that got this guy uh, the verdict of second degree murder for killing Tyler Ty Thomas was because years ago, a young lady who was raped by him, sexually assaulted while she was drunk. She was underage. She did come forward because she had been drinking and all this kind of other stuff. And she was young. And, you know, regardless how much we want to say, well, oh, why didn't you tell? Why didn't you tell nobody? Why didn't you tell? You should have told. It didn't really happen because you didn't really tell. You know, as much as we want to say that, not me, but, you know, people, I'm just saying in general, a lot of people are like that. She felt really bad. She came forward with what happened to her by Joshua Keto. 
she came forward when she found out that Tyler Ty Thomas was missing and that the last person to see her was Tyler was Joshua Keto. She came forward. They found him guilty of sexual assault against her when she was 15 years old. They put him away for 10 to 15 years. Then a few years later, they were able to charge him for Tyler Ty Thomas' murder. And it took 10 years. It took 10 years, but I was there to witness it myself. It was like the most joyous thing I've ever went through and experienced in a long time was seeing him convicted of second degree murder from the child that was from my town who went off to college to further her education only to meet her death by his hands. So <clears throat> if y'all don't know nothing about that, um, it's Joshua Keto. And uh, the victim, the lady who, young lady who died was Tyler Ty Thomas. It was a big, 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 big deal when she first went missing 10 years ago. Then everybody thought, you know, the guy got away with it. Why they ain't charging him? All these years went by. They investigated in all these interviews and he's still not arrested for the crime. And then what had happened was they had to wait. Because when a body disappears, well, not a body, when somebody disappears, and even though the authorities, their family, their friends all believe that person is dead, they can't declare them dead by law till so many years have passed. So once those years pass, they filed those charges and, you know, put his butt in jail. Well, basically, he was already in jail because he was serving 10 to 15 years, you know, in prison for the sexual assault on the 15 year old. But they were able to charge him. And then trial started three weeks ago. And he was found guilty, second degree murder, which was so, so, so awesome because he was set to be released from that 10 to 15 year bid this year or next year. So now, hopefully, he'll never see the uh streets again but sentencing is uh april 29th so i will be going back out of town on april 29th i will be going back out of town uh for the sentencing uh court date to find out how much time he is facing 20 to life so of course um our community her family her friends everybody is hoping that he gets the maximum sentence i hope so too yes local girl i'm so glad i'm so glad you said why rappers die so quickly? I don't know. I think, I don't know. A lot of these rappers out here that be out here rapping. You know what? I was talking to my son. That's crazy you brought that up. I was talking to my son. Let me highlight your comment. I was talking to my oldest son, who's 22. He'll be 23 in a couple of months. And we was driving around. And I had asked him, uh, we started talking about music and R&B, old school, you know, because even though they're young, they mama old head, so they know a lot of the old school rap and R&B and hip hop, you know, from me. And I was just talking to them about certain individuals, and I said, uh, I had mentioned somebody, uh, Rhapsody, you know, the rapper Rhapsody, the female. And I said, what do you think about her? And he said, she all right, but I really don't like female rappers. I looked at my son like, hold up, wait a minute. You don't like female rappers? He said, nah. I said, why not? He said, because these female rappers out here, they act like some of these guys out here. Like they bout that life. Like they done been in the hood all their life. Like they done shot nine or ten people. Like they done, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, so... Who do you think out of all the female rappers from then and now really was about that life? And we was going back and forth and he was like thinking of people. And I said, how about like uh, Queen Latifah, MC Light, how about Yo-Yo, how about, who else did I say? Um, oh my God, what's, what's that one rapper name? Uh... Oh my God! The one who has a sister who is a she's a she's also a uh, actress, and she has a sister who's also an actress. Y'all gotta help me out. I can't remember her name. 
But I was like, what about some of them? He said, yeah, I believe some of them probably was out there in the streets. Probably the brat. Thank you, Miss Frierson. I said, how about the brat? He said, yeah. He said, but these Cardi B's and these Nicki Minaj's and these will do. He said, they all trying to be gangster rappers. And they, he thinks like they just, you know, just fronting, stunting. So <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. You said Maya, yes, I love me some Mia X. Mm -hmm. So Maya X, yes. Yes, James Tucker Justice was served. And I'm just hoping that he gets life because I really think that that man should not ever walk the streets again. I do believe that. So to April 29th, y'all know I'm going to be going live just like I went live from out of town the other day. When I told y'all that he was found guilty of second degree murder. So, yes, I will be going live to let y'all know how much time the judge sentenced Joshua Keto to in prison. You said he bragged to it. Yep, he sure did. Yep. And that was like, uh, you know what? The defense tried to um, say that the jury shouldn't even listen to that. It was like this man, he was on meth, you know, before he went to prison, you know, the informant was a meth head. He's an informant. They probably paid him. They probably did this and that. But the only thing they gave that man was gas money for him to get to court. <laughs> That's all they gave that man. And they was like, well, he came seven years later to let us know that Joshua told him this in prison. And like I said, um, we know, I ain't never been to prison before, but we know that some people go to the pen and they boast and brag about things that might not even be true just to get them some kind of clout, just to put them on some kind of pedestal to make people think they, you know, harder or badder than they might really is. And I do think that he told that informant the truth. Yeah, I killed that black girl and I dumped her body in the Missouri River and they will never convict me of it because they will never find her body. And the man was like, I don't know if it was true. I don't know if he was trying to brag to get some kind of cloud up in there to get some kind of street cloud. Like he about that life. Like he done done something serious out there. He just want people to think he Billy badass or if he really did it. So the guy never said anything. And then when they charged him for murder, and he found out that they charged him for murder and he was going to trial. That's when the guy came forward and said, I got something to say. And the man, they didn't give him no money. He didn't get no time knocked off his sentence or nothing. <laughs> All they did was give him gas money to get to court. <laughs> Natural nat nature mama. Thanks for tuning in to the chat. We about done now. We've been on here for almost two hours. I didn't even expect to be on here this long, but I sure enjoyed myself with you guys. So you will have to watch the replay. We talked about a lot, but mainly about the murder of um, the, the lady that passed away um, in Indianapolis. Um, the lady who uh, tried to expose some guys who were having some gay sexual activity and she tried to expose them and extort them for five thousand dollars and then she ended up dead a few hours later so we talked about that and along with some other stuff um but yeah you have to watch the replay because i'm about to get out of here y'all a sister got to get up and go to work in the morning you said eve and foxy brown yes eve i love you some eve and some foxy brown thank you local you said great life Thank you, boo. Thank you. You know, I appreciate you always, always. But you guys, yes, I'm about to be out of here. So you guys, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. Check out some of our past videos. This channel be all over the place. We might be discussing some murders one day. We might be discussing power one day. Oh, and if y'all missed my review of power, the finale from last night. Well, the finale wasn't last night, but I finally got to do my review of the finale last night. Because, again, I've been covering a murder trial for like the last three weeks mainly. So I finally got my review in for power. So please check that out. I 
happened last night. I am so looking forward to Power 2, which just started in a few months, the spinoff to Power. Um, but yes, thank you, Raino Branch. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in tonight. But yes, yeah, so make sure you check out those other videos and uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know whenever me or me and my co-host goes live. Because we do go live almost every single day. <laughs> so with that said, the Hood Table Squad and my Primetime TV Squad, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out. Deuces.